welcome back to Science Talks episode 4 and today we're not going to talk about something that is very heavy as usual but instead we're going to talk about something that is light and mengganggu para jiwa wanita dan kemungkinan lelaki di luar sana which is friendly or flirty if we direct translate it mesra atau menggatal as usual, I have a guest today with me. I present to you Phoebe Sherilyn. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Okay, so yeah. Hi, so I'm Phoebe and then I'm a social media manager um, freelance and also a trainee counselor for a mental health association in Kuching. Just a disclaimer, as much as um, because I'm a trainee counselor, I just want to put a disclaimer where whatever that's shared today is all my perspective and my understanding so that don't take it at 100% just take what you need and what you can understand and that's about it so it's all my perspective I know Phoebe when she first followed me on TikTok and I replied to this one comment section <laughs> regarding to the, the golf, golf. Yeah. and then I accidentally met her at Seni Kita during the WAK month Phoebe before we start can we first take a look what is the definitions of friendly and flirty? It's from Google, right? Friendly is defined as being kind and a kind of approach that makes you comfortable as a friend. While flirty defined was when someone behaves toward people in a way which suggests that they are interested to them in a playful or not a very serious way. So Phoebe, what do you think of people being friendly? Basically, for friendly is like people are like communicating with you without any some sort of like terms or um, interests or that's to be reciprocated. But in terms of like flirty is like someone that would someone that flirts intentionally or unintentionally could be having like some sort of like interest or want you to reciprocate or like they just want to test their own market. I don't know, but that's my perspective. Lah. But how about you? Okay. How do you like differentiate those two? So, well, I think being friendly is just like just polite, mm -hmm. and so that we don't get any bad impression to anyone. So, when you just being friendly, then you have to act like being friendly, not more than that, just friend. <laughs> okay. Well, flirty is like for me, it's like teasing at the same time, showing that you're interested in the person and maybe in a playful way mm -hmm. or with an intention to date them for real for real because for why you would why would you flirt why would you flirt okay. yeah why would you flirt without but having I, a good intention can yeah flirting is like showing that you interested in them wanting to date them for real mm. in a playful way and in a serious way okay, okay. phoebe can you read out how many types of flirting out there okay okay so there's five types of flirting style so the first one is physical so for physical is like what it means is basically like they're a bit touchy in a sense like maybe it doesn't have to be like some sort of like sexual way but it can be just like touching or like you know pet or something it's just some sort of touch La. so that's physical traditional is like basically um, where the man is the one that's involved in terms of like the flirting so like the man is the one that like yang macam terus kind of flirtiness or like the one that's making the move lah. Oh. And then for the third one is sincere. Um, what I mentioned earlier is basically like it's those people that is flirting because they have a sincere intention. Ya memang they have their own intention already, so they flirt with you. And then for polite, they're just being cautious, non-forward. Like compared to like sincere, sincere they they have an intention. And they're like being sincere about their feelings and then like for in terms of like the polite one they're just being nice and like softly like kind of like indulge themselves to you lah macam ya as for playful they're just playful is just what people these days usually do in the sense of like mocking you making fun of you or like just like playfully like like just like carrying out this situation or like the talk you know but not so that's being five. serious yeah so yeah, so basically that's like the five types of like, um, what's that thing called flirting style? So how about you? Like, how do you flirt? So how yeah. do I flirt? How do you flirt? Like everyone have their own style of flirting, right? So like, how do you flirt usually? 
Dion told me last night, she knows that the way I flirt is my body language and also the way I text. She knows. So do you say like, are you saying that you're the type that like, like physical? I but, don't touch. Okay, so we didn't, we didn't like the five, five types. Like what types are you, do you, what types do you see yourself? No, I think mine is sincere. Sincere. Okay, okay. cool. Can I say but I'm with sincere? But uh, with like a, with a glimpse of like playfulness. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and so, so, just a bit of it, just so, like a yeah. salt. I can say that I'm flirty in a way of um, if like body language is like mm-hmm. showing, but I don't touch people. I don't touch like if you baru jumpa kena. I mm-hmm. don't touch, but if I get comfortable, then love language is my uh, sorry because physical, physical is my is love, love language. language. But only if I'm comfortable with you, mm-hmm. and then if in terms of flirting, mostly in the way how I interact with them, if maybe in the text or maybe the way I talk to you, like, you know, you can sense if I'm being friendly, then you know that I'm being friendly. Mm-hmm. Because when I'm being friendly dengan orang, that person will know, or this, I, Azizah memang jadi, like, friendly, memang a symptom, friendly, friendly, you don't know that I'm actually being friendly, not flirting with you. But okay, a question not from okay. there. So, okay, question. Basically, like, how do you kind of like differentiate yourself? Like, whether you're being friendly or flirty? Like, we, like how do you know, like, okay, this is Aziza being uh, friendly and this is Aziza being like flirty? It's so weird to call you Aziza. Okay. <laughs> Just call me Sayana. Sayana. Yeah. Okay. So, like, how, how I do differentiate you know? myself is that um, if I want to be your friend, uh-huh. I will bro you. Or oh, kau okay. aku at the same time. Okay. But certain people, nya si dapat terima if I Ganas use camnya, kau it? aku dengan nya. Oh. Nya akan pada boleh si kita kakak kita kami ang kami. Because I I don't like you say kau aku. Aku cam. Okay. I, like, I mean, okay, okay. people have their own pers- yeah. preference. Yeah, preference. So if me being friendly, I can datang datang dan hilang. Uh, I will okay. like I text and then I hilang. Okay, so, so yeah, there's no like which you say like there's no like consistent, yeah, like communication. Or like, if in text uh, they tanya I balas, mm-hmm. but in in being flirty then it seems like I have to be a bit consistent in that okay. because I'm flirting with someone. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I have to be consistently playful so consistently like communicating yeah somewhat uh, like yeah. Too, okay, and okay, then cool, cool. i believe that if i flirting then the uh, the other side knows that i'm flirting because ha, i will okay. say that i will flirt i have to stop myself sometimes <laughs> <laughs> you don't know <laughs> but yeah okay 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 get it get it then how about you so, Fiwi? okay for me i don't really flirt i mean yeah i don't really flirt i'm not the type to flirt so, but most of the time, like, whenever I'm being friendly, people actually, like, like, take it as if I'm flirting. Yeah, a lot of time it's like that. It's like, whenever I'm nice to someone, so I'm the type that, like, I'm, I'm just nice, I guess. It's like, I can carry a conversation. It's just part of, like, my career pathway, you know? It's just, I just talk a lot. So I'm always nice and stuff like that. And then, like, it just, it, like, especially for guys, it's easier for them to, like, Oh, I thought you liked me. And I'm like, eh? Eh? <laughs> Dia macam, sekejap. Kat mana kau dapat ni? <laughs> it's like, eh? But like, yeah, it gets to that point. So like, I'm usually friendly, like in and out. Like, I'm always just friendly. So like, a lot of times people just thought that my friendliness is like flirtiness. But honestly, I don't even know how I flirt. Actually, I know lah. Do you send picture? Like selfie? <laughs> Oh no, I don't. Like if I'm if I'm I'm being friendly, I wouldn't do that. I mean, if you're like actually like my close friend, like no, we're not talking about close friends. Okay, with... so yeah lah. If if my if I'm if we're already comfortable being friend, then I don't mind sending picture of like what I'm doing and stuff like that. But that's about it. Like it wouldn't like you mentioned, it wouldn't be like consistent, like yeah lah. Right. It's like I can you can tell that if I'm being like friendly lah. More flirty. I'm the type. Okay, I think I'm the type that's like playful a bit in the sense that like I like to make fun of people. That's it. Like, but only like only the person that I like. But jarang lah. So do you flirt for fun? No, I don't. So yeah. you flirt for serious with 
Definitely. An yeah. intention to With an death. intention. But like, so far, so far, eh? So far. So far. <laughs> so far. Not so near, so okay. far. <laughs> so far? <laughs> so far, I ha- I don't. It's just that, like, if I notice that there's no... There's no chance for us to be together. Then there's no point of me flirting with you. Yeah, such a direct. Yeah, I honestly like if you don't have like if if why would you waste time? I don't know. Like for me lah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but actually I agree with that. Sebenarnya, mm-hmm. why would? Memang kalau dah first first kawan like why would you waste your time flirting with mm. a person that you think you're not going to pursue? Be together. Yeah. Nya yeah. macam. Nang like waste a lot of times so, lah. Effort juga. And at the end of the day, like you're the one that's hof- hopeful, you know. Yeah, and yeah, hurt, okay. you know. So faham, do you faham. flirt multiple people at a time? I just mentioned I don't flirt for shit. <laughs> like I just don't flirt for shit. Like really, I just yeah. She's a bit picky. You see. <laughs> okay, Phoebe is a bit picky. Fine. So, when do you realize, or what do you do when you realize that the person is actually flirting instead of being friendly? Okay. Oh, okay. So, I feel like maybe I don't really have a lot of, like, guy friends. I actually don't have that much guy friend. So, like, my guy friend is very, like, like you mentioned, it's very bro. It's very, like, what are you doing? Hey, Budo, what are you doing? You know, things like that. It's very, like, rough towards me. So, like, I notice, like, if for, like... A reason case scenario is basically like suddenly like oh what are you doing like I miss you and I'm like eh. you know like a lot of like eh good job you know like oh so I always don't reciprocate love it's like to the point that like I would actually draw a line already yeah the I'm I'm yeah I'm the type that like I'm very much honest to myself so if I don't like you or like I don't have intention to date you I'll just draw a line like I'll just be like hey what are you doing you know like so i did that recently so it's like what are you doing so you ghost them too no i don't ghost i will tell them my point so i am a very chamneho like jenis yang i have to explain so that people don't just like i don't like putting people in a position that they have to think what they did so i will tell you what they do so i will tell that person like hey i don't think that you're a bit close to me i'm just gonna put it out there that like i have no intention of dating or something like that or like, if you want to be serious, let's just be serious and get to know each other. So, met jenis yang nang like boundaries like like besusun lah macam ni lah. Munsi macam you're wasting my time, and I have a lot of things in mind. You know, I have a lot of like responsibilities in life itself. So I feel like if you are just gonna be a part time person, there, there's no point of me like flirting with you mm, so yeah, boundaries is so important yeah true well if it's me I if I realize a person that's mm-hmm. supposed to be friendly then suddenly they're flirting mm-hmm. then it's actually depend if the person is my type then why not then oh girl okay, oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. then okay. my next question would be if the person that tiba tiba from friendly to flirty uh-huh. is your type what do you do I feel like again, it's like it depends. Uh, it's hard to get my type, but like basically, basically, like if if I were to memang know this person, I'm the type that I like to be friends to law and then only to so munya being friendly and then possibly like if I notice that they're being flirty, I'll be like, hey, what's again, going on? What's going you, going know? On, you know, but I don't get that often, lah. Okay, I don't fine, get. Fine. See, lah, kacak camnya kan. So, like, <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> but yeah, another question mm-hmm. I wanna ask. Banyaknya question. Dia. Okay, <laughs> so, another question I wanna <laughs> ask. What turns you off during the flirting stage? Oh, flirting stage. Yes. I feel like turn off. Everyone have their own perspective. Like everyone have their own thoughts in terms of like what do they like, what do they not like, and kan? so like for me, I feel like. If you're a bit disrespectful to whoever, like that, Jenny saying, you know, there are like people that would actually like go on a date with you, can, and then they're flirting with you, and then at the end, and then they're being rude towards other people at the same time. So that's like being rude, being disrespectful is very for me. And then another one is, I guess, in the sense that I don't mind you sharing whatever you want to say or like whatever your goals is. I don't mind. I really don't mind. But like, if you are gonna be like, macam coming towards like oh i have this you don't have that like comparison then i feel like i have to pull a break on that communication already you know things like that so i feel like 
uh, still go goes it, back to like the guy insecure la. when they do the comparison the guy I feel insecure like not really insecure i guess they're just trying to show like what they have but like instead of like show like showing it like in a sense like a kind way maybe they come out a bit cocky i guess maybe the approach salah i think the approach mm, would be salah charity but, approach yeah. salah <laughs> but i think i think that's it like being disrespectful uh like whether with other people or towards me like time time i have had like not a date lah nya nang kawan kami jual lah pastu nya macam oh sorry baby i'm gonna be late one hour and i was like you know i was outside for an hour waiting for you and things like that so i feel like again it goes back to disrespectful lah. it's like you're not respecting my time you're not respecting the people around you So it's a major, major turn off, lah. Yeah. Okay. So for mine, I have three major mm-hmm. turn off. During three. Three. Wow. So uh, actually two, but satu lagi I kena ingat balik. I dah lupa. Uh-huh. Okay. Yang the first one kan, bila dia suka boss about himself. Oh, I yeah. paling tak suka if lelaki first date dia dah kata, oh I ada Mercedes, I ada condominium, I I anak Tan Sri, I anak YB, because I went out with them, they boss about themselves. They say, I ada condominium, you wanna stay there? I uh, condominium mana? Ah, di kat airport. Macam, fuck, I I I dah turn off bahagiannya. Oh. And then he would like posting, hey, you know, I my income is this, this and that. Oh my god, People you know what? Income, yeah, so. I date you because of you. I don't date because of your family, your status. Mm. I I hate it so much that. Uh-huh. Can we just be real on the ground that you don't have to talk about your status, your achievement? Mm-hmm. Yes, you can, but only 20% percent because the other 20 Eighty percent is about you yourself, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. And number two is when the guy actually talk about his past during oh. the flirting stage. Okay. I mean during the dinner. I right. I I can't paling tak suka. I mean, like if I date you, I want to know like we are talking about the present okay. or or in the future. Okay. So if you want to talk about the past, maybe after few deaths, yes, you can. But first death, date, date, date. First date, 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 date. To bapa. Wait, yeah, what's that? Second date. Okay. <laughs> so if after few dates, you can, you can talk about your past, but not at the first dinner that I suppose or first date. 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 Okay, because kan certain when I realize bila I keluar dengan mereka orang kan, I tak tanya, tiba-tiba dia ada kata, do you know that I have three exes? Do oh. you know that <laughs> I have two exes? The the reason why I break up with them is because she cheat on me. Okay. Oh ya Tuhan, I am I memang I memang turn off lah. I I memang tak start any any conversation on their ex that but tiba-tiba dia cakap pasal ex dia. Aku macam wait, you're you're talking to your future but now you're talking about your past. I am actually not interested when someone talk about their okay. past. It's like mm, what can I get the benefit? You know what can I get if what you What is talk- the benefits of you sharing the past lah macam ya lah. Yes, and oh. then They they will like, you know, they will talk about oh in the past, uh, the reason why we break up. I mean, okay, if nya cheat, you have to tell also, okay. But how, what okay. if you yang cheat? Okay, guys, if you guys want to flirt with Ziza, have to think about the future straight. Tak ada pas pas. Tak ada. She bond trauma bonding doesn't work on her. <laughs> okay, I just I tak faham apa benda trauma bonding. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, and then number three, the <laughs> third one that turns me off, bila dia kaki komplain. Sample, sample <laughs> ni okay. mesti ada sample. Ada sample, ada. Ajak, ajak, ajak makan. Oh my god, can can I, uh, bila cakap banyak turn off kan? Uh, tak nak lah, nanti lain cerita. Okay, okay. <laughs> bila dia komplain kan, dia komplain about dia punya past. Dia mm-hmm. dia dia komplain contoh, I keluar ma- I keluar makan dengan dia pergi dating. No, it's not dating lah. On a date, memang on a date. So, on a date, but it's not dating. Yeah, on a date, but not dating. Okay, on a dinner, like going out, like hanging out, lah. Yes, he would he would talk about his past, and then he complained that, tau si dolo, ah uh, I know, uh, last time I I with my girlfriend, I sanggup drive dari Petaling Jaya turun ke Puchong and stuff all that. Uh, it sounds so real. It's it's <laughs> real. It's happening, but it turns me off because. 
he turns me off because he complains a lot. Bayangkan benda okay. pas dia dah complain, apa lagi kalau dah belanja makan nanti dia complain dia mengungkit. Yo, I turn off I said suka. Oh, If you want okay. to flirt but don't don't do that things, you okay. know. There's a lot of a lot of a lot of things you don't do lah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, that is few uh, the treat things that you so, okay, hate few. Like, the mm. three things that turns me off during the flirting stage faham okay so when there's turns you off there must be the green flag of flirting stage okay. do you have any f- green flag in a flirting stage okay green flag for i can't even think of one because sorry but okay so in terms of green flag i appreciate men that is thoughtful No, oh. in a sense of like, let's just say like, I like when they are thoughtful in a sense of like, you don't have to ask for anything in a sense like that. Macam si la pelu, macam you have to ask them to like pick you up or something like that. It's like just like thoughtful lah. Jadi like macam obviously you can't read people's mind, right? I'm a counselor, I can't read people's mind by the way. <laughs> but yeah, but I must think well, it's like you just expect something nice from them, like if they're being kind, like being nice towards you i i appreciate those are like very thoughtful in a sense of like um for me like in a flirting stage a green flag is when a guy know what they want yeah it's a it's a very like oh okay like they know what they want straight away i mean i get it like some people it's hard for them to kind of like know what they want right but like in a sense of like okay maybe i can like i'm talking to her And I'm gonna like try and get to know her. So I like when they have that some sort of energy. So it's a it's just like being kind, being polite, and then like knowing what they want, being very thoughtful. Macam tu lah. I feel like it's very nice. Oh yeah. So oh, I I I agree with that. Really? Yeah. <laughs> so what's your green flag? Like one of uh, what what is your green flags? I think uh, my green flag would be if. The the significant others is wow significant. Sa- <laughs> salah, salah, salah. <laughs> if the guy sorry, if the guy match your energy, mm-hmm. if the guy match your energy and know how to you read your energy or your no. it's just like it's like you click lah. <laughs> yes, yes, you click and then uh you can be comfortable together. It's you can be you yourself. You know, um. you don't have to cover yourself like oh my god, I have to be pretty in front of him. Oh yeah, I yeah. feel like yeah, being comfortable. Yeah, being comfortable is. It it's a good sign that I want to add another one. Okay, go on. Sis. Okay, so basically, like I feel like I like when a man, a man, I become boy, eh? man <laughs> know how to carry out the conversation. Oh yeah. Munsi, kau duduk je, macam okay. So how are you? Dry sis, sister. Tak ker. Dia macam okay. Kau sekarang ni anak aku bercakap ke? But, but most of the time, I think because I talk a lot, right? Okay. So I usually take. Like I'm the one driving the conversation, mm. and they're having fun. They're having fun because it's an interview for the, okay. for them, kan? Mm. So if your conversation, see, like, like you don't know how to carry a conversation, I feel like macam apa ya nya mau kelakar sama orang tu, you know things like that. It's so hard to like. You have to think about the questions. Like, oh, okay, so do you like cars? Oh. <laughs> okay, that that fine for you, but I ever encountered when the guy talks too much. Oh, talk so much non-stop. I pun tak suka. I okay, maybe can you just be neutral? You don't uh, have to talk too much, but don't be too I think, dry. I mean, what if they're just excited to see you? They're just like, oh my god, sayan. <laughs> mm, <laughs> but sometimes I like silence more. Okay. <laughs> Faham. Okay, so wait, there's another point of the green flag in a flare. Yeah, for me, okay. is that just now I talk about click, right? Mm, being click. Yeah, don't talk too much. <laughs> Second okay, one, don't, one. don't talk too much. Okay, when a guy communicate you well, uh, communicate well, communicate well, or like carry out conversation well, uh, You can say that, which again. is almost the same with yeah, yours. Yeah, yeah. But that doesn't mean that wait, I don't wait, like the oh, talkative. Oh, so we, what you meant was like communicate well is in a sense that like they know what they want. Yes, actually, okay. your the one that you point out just now. So I like it when they communicate well. Their feelings and all without like any, honesty. Yeah, honesty because I'm the type that overthink a lot. So uh, I reassurance. Need, yeah, I need reassurance, and that's why it's a green flag for me. Okay, yeah. 
Great. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Phoebe. Since you're on a social media a lot, social a lot, what do you think of the people that hit the like button, the love button on your IG story? Or react the story? Yes, react the story. I no, don't know. React it, 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 don't react. React is dia masuk dalam DM tau. But this one is just like. like okay, just like that, the story. Is that flirting or just like... Okay, for me, my it's like if you like a lot of people like your story, you know. So for me, it doesn't really matter. Although it gets confusing at times because there are people that try to flirt with you and then they ghosted you and then they start liking your story again. So that's when I'm much a bit questionable. So I'm not quite sure about that one. But how about you? Like, how would you react like if people that you kind of like talk to stop talking to you and like your story? Like, what do you feel? No, oh, I. Oh, I macam tengok, I can tengok dia macam, what do you want? Uh, faham, faham. You I feel like apa. people get that question. You nak apa? You yeah. nak, I start interact with you. I think that's a sense of, that, that is like, beri hin, can I talk to you? Uh, but, but, okay. But if in that situation, mm-hmm. but if for me, if I like a person's story, with, uh, if with the face on it, ka, kalau perempuan is like, Oh, I I really like you because I really because the kind like is like. Wait, I'm have you done it to a guy though? Yeah, I, I do. Liking that. So, what is your intention? My intention that like, you hot. Faham. <laughs> Good job. So Faham? when they post like on yeah, but they when they in the gym like hot lah. Okay, I okay now that it gets back to to kind now that I. I ask you the question, then only it makes sense for me. So basically, like my intention when I like someone's story, it's just like, it's like a conversation maker lah. Like when you like, you're like, you have an intention, but I'm not sure with like for other people, like if they have the same way. So for you, it means something lah. Yes, like, it means something. If if on the guy, I like the story, it means something. But if on perempuan, because I like yeah. perempuan yang kaca. Yeah, 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 perempuan yeah. yang nang kaca. Uh, same, same, same. Yeah. yeah, for guy, I rarely do it. But I, you rarely do it? I I don't do it. I've done one song. But sometimes it depends on the context. You know, yeah, it depends. Yeah, 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 yeah. If the, maybe mm. he posts something that is... um. Quotes. Yeah, I feel like I would only like related, it. Yeah, then some, maybe some I just that? like because yes, this is yeah. true. I like it. Yeah, but I only do if, it for my if, friends. If the story is like their face, tunjuk their hot, depend lah. Karena nang ayah I see like ah, depend lah siapa ya. Faham, hmm. faham. Okay. Do you guys have any questions? <laughs> From the boys, yeah. From the boys back there. The green flags does it answer your question tadi? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Can you just throw one question? Yeah, yeah. For throw you one guys. question that you think. Then we can ask from the girl's perspective, lah. Okay, uh. one question. Okay. So I know it depends on girls to girls, lah. But you guys, you guys date to marry, ka? Or like, uh, yeah. When do you? Good uh, question for you. When she do does. you? No, no, she yeah. does. When do you like, tell the guy, like, all oh, right, my intention is not just to them. You now some people just date until like maybe like fifteen years and oh, you know what? This is gonna be married, you know, like that kind of thing. Oh, sheesh. Yeah, like 20-30 years, maybe some people like that. 20-30 years talking, gila. Not talking lah, but like stating lah. Oh, yeah. Then they're just like, you know what, we've been dating, so let's get married now. Okay. Thank you for the question. You want to answer first? You answer first. I feel like our answer is the same. So when you answer, I'll just say, yeah, 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 yeah. So the question, the question just now is like, am I dead to marry it? Can personally, I'm a dead to marry, it, and usually when it's on the first date, I will. If the intention memang on a date itself, can I memang communicate terus? I kata, yeah, I dead to marry, it. I dead uh... to marry. It. I memang terus kata, I dead to marry, it. and then I see lah what's the response on. The guy, whether he said that they did for fun or married. Like what's their intention, lah? Basically, yeah. Before we go for another talking stage, can mm-hmm. before we continue the talking stage and stuff, and then um, if you're telling about after dating for a long time, but things didn't work out, but at least we try. At least the uh, the fact that that to marry when both of the both of the partner are the same agree. mindset, yeah, same, yeah, same mindset. Like okay. I'm going to marry you. You're mm-hmm. going to marry me. So at the end of the day, I have you. You have me. Mm. So, but if at the end of the day, ujong ujong pun, 
tak ada si, jadi. si menjadi Then at least we already done our part We already try and error Then we have to move on lah So hmm. I wonder if that's what you mean Because when I realise balik Now I remember one Okay Now I remember one When I communicate When I say that I date to married And I'm flirting with you That guy would would say Actually I'm not flirting I'm just being friendly But his action is Not what he said mm. His action is flirting But he said he's friendly okay. And it's I, Well if you want to You have to know what you want If you say that you being friendly Then put a boundary Say you want to be friend But when you say you want to be friend But your action is You're actually flirting with me I think that's too much I see So okay Cool. I feel like it's almost similar to me lah. It's like and um, I obviously a lot of people or a lot of girls, especially in our age, mid twenties. It's like obviously you're gonna start to think about like who are you gonna get married to and stuff like that. So like for me specifically, I am very respectful of my time. I'm very very respect uh, respectful towards myself. Ever since like I started spending a lot of time with myself, it's like you have some sort of like um acknowledgement of like how much your self worth is so as soon as like i have that some sort of like realization like if a guy that just come to me and then like just play around i would definitely ask their intention if their intention is not aligned then it's like we can just be friends i'm not just gonna ghost like i recently also he's a friend so like i told him like hey i know too but this is It, this is just for me to respect myself and I don't want to get into this type of situationship. It's very hard to get out of a situationship or a relationship. Therefore, like having a knowing your own intention before the communication even started or continues, it's great. So that none of you guys are like macam going different direction, like going different direction. And at the end of the day, you don't want anyone to be hurt anyway. So having a like good intention earlier on will be good lah. getting hurt is actually a good personal development you know it is good but do you have to go through it just for you to if be if you know how you to know? control it you put mm. a period of time if you going into grieving you put you put a certain time you don't have to mm. like setahun aku grieving dia tinggalkan aku maybe no but mm. for me I take around one to three weeks then I'm done I find mm. another but one. it depends lah. like um, it depends on people or so like Definitely, like, for every individual, they have different coping mechanisms, right? So, mm-hmm. therefore, like, maybe it may work for you. Giving time to yourself may work for you. But for some people, a lot of us as an Asian, like, growing up in an Asian, like, culture, obviously, like, giving yourself time or, like, or like sitting on your emotion is super hard. So, some people, they need to learn that good for you maybe you have learned to sit with your emotion but some people takes a long time she's my therapist when i went through a heartbreak in yeah, february for free <laughs> i have to start charging now i have to start charging now I, but it works it works yeah. okay as much as we are the type that dead to marry it, but we don't rush into relationships definitely i, feel I like don't you care need how to be old friends I, first. i'm going yeah. to get married but i don't rush into relationship because i don't want to pick the wrong person to yeah. be the father of my kids. own kids choose your partner wisely guys flirt for don't flirt flirt, flirt for with fun. good intention <laughs> <laughs> yes flirt for good intention don't flirt for fun Sure. Unless you're not the type of dead to marry, can boleh lah you flirt for fun anyone? Yeah, but you have to be nice lah. It's like in that in that communication, there's two people, so you have to be aware of what thoughtful lah. That's why I prefer men that's thoughtful. Yeah, I yeah. need your advice on <laughs> those who who is having who is facing a hard time to differentiate whether someone is being flirty and friendly. Hmm. Okay. So okay, in terms of like advice i feel like everyone have their own way of like coping stuff right so for me i feel like if you notice that this this for example like for me right if i notice that a man is acting too friendly or like it gets to the point that's flirty know your boundaries like you have to like start take yourself out of the situation look at yourself from a third 
point of view like you are the third person in this situation you're looking at yourself with that person see if this is the this is the thing that you want if this is the do you want to continuing a uh, continue this um flirting stage for fun or do you want to continue to get to know each other and then once you have that chosen like you have you have your intention already get back to that person and communicate it well i feel like communication with yourself and with that other person is really important that's my advice uh. i feel like that's very important for you to kind of like stop the situation or continuing it with the same goal instead of like just continue just for play unless that's what you want lah kalau nak play play around then you go ahead with it moon see then you have to have your own boundaries and then stop the situation and you have to like discipline yourself and stop also because if you just put it in a way that like okay i want a date to marry but you continue the flirting stage it gets back to like what can you control <laughs> you get me it gets back to like you're in that situation you can control yourself why are you trying to control the situation yeah Thank you, Counselor Free PG. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's a very long, flirty story today. I hope you guys enjoy this episode. And as usual, don't forget to reach me out if you have any inquiries. Last but not least, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Bye. <laughs>